Okay, see Lindelof videos. Finance Solver is killer on this TI Inspired cast. Um, what we're going to look at today, just specifically, you can do tons of stuff with this. We're just going to look at future value of an annuity with deposits made at specific intervals. So this is all I'm going to, I'm going to skip to the meat of the matter here in just a second, but this is what we have. This is the vignette or whatever. That Rejoice annuity offered an annuity that pays 7.25% compounded monthly. And if $1,000 is deposited into the annuity every month, how much is in the account of 15 years? I wasn't being all Christmassy or holiday or whatever that word is by using the green and the red. I was trying to point this out that if this was all in black, the things in red were, are those key pieces of information that I wanted. Uh, the other thing I guess I would have should have highlighted was where it says annuity. I should have really looked at that. But these are the pieces of information that I need. So I'm just going to go to that. I'm going to keep in mind I have $1,000 for 15 years, and I'm going to go to the home screen. It's already, this one's already on calculator. I'm going to go to calculator and check this out. I'm just going to go to menu. I'm going to go to finance. From finance, I'm going to go to finance solver. N is the number of payments, right? The number of payments total will be 180, won't it? Right? Because you're going to, you're going to have 15 years and five you're going to have 15 years, and you're going to have 12 payments a year. So that's where I got that. So I'm just going to toggle down here to this next piece right here. And got to be a little bit careful here because it says, see here, it says percent. It's not asking you for it as a decimal. If you put it in as a decimal, you're going to give, you're going to undervalue it. So there's the interest rate, right? I don't know what the present value is, so I'm going to go down here. I do know that I intend to make a $1,000 payment, right? And then I'm just going to go down here again and then look at this for a second. This is yearly. This is yearly payments. I'm going to make 12 payments, excuse me, 12 payments per year, right? And I'm also going to have 12 compounding periods per year, right? This is really easy now. I'm just going to go up here, right? I'm just going to hit enter. And oh, you know why this number came up negative? It's because here where I put my payment, the payment should have been negative because if you think about it in a really weird way, it is a negative payment, right? So I'm going to hit enter again to see if it does fix it. Uh, payments are counted as negative money. You're giving up this money. And in return for those 180 payments of $1,000, you are going to receive $323,943.07. So you're like, so what? So what is this? Let's say I knew what the future value had to be. Like I knew the future value had to be this, right? So I know the future value has to be this, but I don't know what the payment has to be. Well, it'll tell me. I, you saw I rounded there, so it gave me a rounded answer. But you see what I mean? You can change this. Or if I had all of this stuff and I wasn't sure what the interest rate would need to be, it will tell me what the interest rate will be. So it will solve this any way you want once you get that stuff in the solver. So this thing is actually, I mean, just amazing. I'm just freaked out by not just what it can do, but how many different ways you can process this same information. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And you guys know that your comments are always welcome. Thanks. Appreciate it.